My name is Dr. Sonny Coley and I am the team leader for Cloud Diagnosis, a company based, a team based in Canada, and our parent company is Biosign, which is a publicly traded company uh, in Toronto, Canada. 2010, uh, the earthquake in Haiti, I decided to volunteer. I went to Port-au-Prince uh, and there's a hospital called Bernard Mays with Project MediShare. A woman walks in, she's a charitable worker, she's having chest pain. We didn't have a functioning 12 lead ECG machine. So we had to MacGyver one and eventually we were able to do that and solve our problem and, and really make an impact in her life. And you know, I was thinking to myself, a, a tricorder type device, something that's mobile, something you can carry with you, like you could take to remote places or disaster relief zones or villages or your grandma's house. It's shocking to me that it hasn't been done. You think about all the technology in the world and it ha really hasn't been done. My heritage is being a physician. I'm a critical care physician. I run an intensive care unit for a living. And I'm also an internist. We're trying to create a device that people can use in their homes to help diagnose uh, conditions and get treatment that they need uh, sooner rather than later. We have a, a technology called PulseWave. Um, it's a device that goes around the wrist. It measures blood pressure, heart rate. It can derive respiratory rate and a m number of other variables to help diagnose arrhythmias and other problems. Our founder and creator created the concept of taking a lot of medical data, raw data, and at the time when the internet wasn't robust, it had to be sent to a server. He created this concept 10 years before clouds were even talked about. I had an interest in space. I went to the International Space University. I had met Peter Diamandis there at one time. Every 10 or 15 years or so, they do a public campaign where they try and recruit the next two Canadian astronauts. And, uh, and so it was, a, it was an honor and privilege to be a part of that process. I never thought I'd get through the hoops. And so my contribution, it's kind of fun for me to now be uh, um, vying for the Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize because I thought my dream of spaceflight was dead. But this is sort of my own way to fulfill that, that internal dream I have of doing something that's sort of space related but still to the betterment of mankind. In India, every year almost 40 million people are pushed into poverty beyond the poverty line and it's classified as a dollar eight US a day because of out-of-pocket healthcare expenditure. So just imagine a device that could cut that number in half. We're a very small company, so to me it's almost David versus Goliath. I, I view us as the David. We don't have a lot of resources, but yet we're a very enthusiastic team and it, it really takes a village and we have that village in our biomedical engineer and our electrical engineer and our software person and our marketing people and our visionaries. My grandmother and grandfather lived in a, a very volatile part of India now, Kashmir. They were living up there in isolation, not a lot of medical support around. They had chronic medical conditions, nowhere for them to go, nowhere for me to monitor them. And now to, to envision a, a box that they could go to and I could instantly get access to that information when I'm thousands of miles away. That's pretty powerful.